Hey everybody, today we are making a two 10 inch speaker cabinet for guitar. We're starting out with three quarter inch pl hardwood plywood and cutting everything to size. And we're starting to assemble the, uh, the cabinet itself, but before we do that, we're gonna uh, uh, put a 10 degree bevel on the front. So the front of the speakers tilt back just a tad. Why do we tilt back the speaker cabinet? Because all guitar players play too loud. And you know you do, especially you, Sean Kelly. All right, we're putting some uh, screws to hold it in place. Just temporarily, we're gonna end up gluing it and using dowels to hold it. All right, we're starting to glue the cabinet together and we're still using the screws to temporarily hold it. All right, we're drilling the holes and putting in the dowels. Place them in dowels, tapping them in. What do you call that saw again? That's a flush cut saw. Actually, that's a fret saw. Ah. But uh, I ended up buying a flush cut saw later. Worked a lot better. Just tap it in. Now we're cutting some I guess stop blocks to hold the front and the back, uh, the speaker baffle and the back of the cabinet together. It adds a lot of strength to the cabinet and it's a good way to fasten the front and back on. Yeah, you want a lot of strength because you know you're gonna put stuff on top of that cabinet in the van or car or probably Sean Kelly's gonna stand on it and do a rock and roll move during the show. All right, that does it for all the stop blocks. And we're just uh, testing the fit of the back. Yep, decided to go with a closed back on this cabinet versus the open back. And that should get a lot of discussion going on what is better, what people prefer. All right, we're rounding the edges with a router bit and sanding them smooth. Ah, oh, the speakers have arrived. These are Eminence Legend 1058 is the model, 10 inch. They're uh, eight ohms each, 75 watts.
All right, we're using T-nuts to hold the speakers in place. We're just going to tap them in on the, on the back side. I guess the opposite side of where the speakers mount. Always good to have flat black spray paint for every project. It's going to look a lot better. You're going to be able to see through that screen, so it's good to have it uh, not look like plywood. And this is, uh, we're going to glue the, the baffle on right now. And we're cutting some trim pieces um, just to go in the front of the baffle. All right, this is the piece that uh, we're gonna attach the screen to. So we have to cut out two, uh, two holes for the speakers and uh, uh, we're gonna staple the screen onto this board right here. And that's just a test fit. We're gonna go with a classic Marshall looking screen. All right, so we had a couple cans of Duratex laying around um, from another project. This is this kind of vinyl-y plastic uh, paint that goes on there. You see it on PA systems a lot, and um, when it's done, it almost looks like a Tolex. It's really durable stuff. All right, now we're making a bay for the speaker jacks. So this is being designed uh, on Rhino CAD, and we're putting it on the same three-quarter inch plywood. Back to the CNC machine. And this is a uh, machine that I built. Uh, this is all homemade, and after, I don't know, about a year of trial and error, I finally got it to work. And this is the machine at actual speed right here. You could go out for a bite and you'd still be cutting. Now this is the uh, the back of the cabinet and this will be the inside piece. And we're using uh, the first one as a guide with a flush cut bit to get to make that hole match up with the other ones. And that is a uh, piece of aluminum that was uh, that we're going to put the jacks in. The trick to this was to get 
it was to try to get it as tight as you can. Um, he didn't want anything loose to rattle around. On go the uh, ever important feet and handle. And we got most of these parts from uh, Mojo Tone. Are there speaker build kits? Because that would be fun. Yeah, I don't know. You mean the wood and everything? No, I speak actual speakers with the cones. Like eh, maybe. Magnet. All right, now we're just doing pretty much the last couple things here. We're going to solder up the speaker wire uh, to the jacks and put the back on. back and there it is the finished cabinet well thanks everybody for watching and uh, please like and subscribe let's see how this sounds